Genesis chapter 1 In the beginning God created heaven and earth. Now the earth was a formless void. There was darkness over the deep, with a divine wind sweeping over the waters. God said, Let there be light. And fuck me, there was light. God saw that light was good, and God divided light from darkness. God called light day, and the darkness he called night. Evening came, and morning came. Monday. God said, let there be a vault, through the middle of the waters to divide the waters in two. And it fucking was. God made the vault, and it divided the waters under the vault from the waters above the vault. God called the vault heaven. Evening came and morning came, Tuesday. God said, let the waters under heaven come together into a single mass, and let dry land appear. And Bob's your uncle, damn fucking straight, it was. God called the dry land, earth, and the mass of the waters, seas. And God saw that it was good. God said, let the earth produce vegetation, seed-bearing plants, and the fruit trees on earth bearing fruit with their seeds inside, each corresponding to its own species. And so it was. Evening came and morning came. Wednesday. God said, let there be light in the vault of heaven to divide day from night, and let them indicate festivals, days and years, let them be lights in the vaults of heaven to shine on earth. And so it was. God made the two great lights, the greater light to govern the day, the smaller light to govern the night, and the stars. God set them in the vault of heaven to shine on the earth, to govern the day and night, and to divide light from darkness. God saw that it was fucking good. Evening came, and morning came. Thursday. God said, let the waters be alive with a swarm of living creatures, and let birds wing their way across the above the earth, the vault of heaven, and so it was. God created great sea monsters, and all the creatures that glide and teem in the waters in their own species, and winged birds in their own species. God said it was good. God blessed them, saying, Be fruitful, fuck, and fill the waters of the seas, and let the birds fuck on land. Evening came, morning came. Friday. God said, Let the earth produce every kind of living creature in its own species, cattle, paedophiles, and wild animals of all kind, and so it was. God made wild animals in their own species, and cattle in theirs, and every creature that crawled along the earth in its own species. God saw that it was good. God said, let us make man in our own image, in the likeness of ourselves, and let them be masters of the fish of the sea, the birds of heaven, the cattle, all the wild animals and all the creatures that crept along the ground. God created man in the image of himself. In the image of God he created him. Man and female, he created them. God blessed them, saying to them, Be fruitful, fuck, fill the earth and dominate it. Be masters of the fish of the sea, the birds of heaven, and all the living creatures who moved on earth. God also said, Look to you, I give you all the seed-bearing plants everywhere, everywhere on the earth's surface, and all the trees with seed-bearing fruits, this will be your food. Mm -mm. And to all the wild animals, all the birds of heaven, and all the living creatures that crop on the ground, I give you all the foliage of the plants as their food. And it fucking was. Good diet. God saw all that he had made, and indeed, it was very good. Evening came, morning came, Saturday. Genesis Chapter 2 Thus heaven and earth were completed with all their array. 
On the seventh day, God had completed the work he had been doing. He put his feet up on the seventh day after all the work he had been doing. God blessed the seventh day and made it holy because on that day he had fucking made everything. Such was the story of heaven and earth as they were created at the time when Jehovah God made the earth and heaven. There was as yet no wild bushes on the earth, nor had any wild plants yet sprung up for Jehovah's God had not sent rain on the earth, nor was there any man to fondle the soil. Instead, water flowed out of the ground and watered all the surface of the soil. Jehovah's God shaped man from the soil of the earth and blew the breath of life into his nostrils. He had a bad nose infection and man became a living being. Jehovah's God planted a garden in Eden which is in the east. It's around the Soviet Union and there he put the man he had fashioned from the soil Jehovah's God caused to grow every kind of tree enticing to look at and good to eat with the tree of the life in the middle of the garden and the tree of knowledge of good and evil. A river flowed from Eden to water the garden and from there it divided to make four streams. The first is named Pishon, and this winds all through the land of Havila, and where there is gold. The gold of this country is pure. Bedellian and Cornelian gustones are found there. The second river is named Gion, and this winds all across the land of Dank Kirsch. The third river is named Tigris, and this flows to the east of Asher, the fourth river, is Euphoria. Jehovah's God took the man and settled him in the Garden of Eden to cultivate and take care of it. Then Jehovah's God gave the man his commands. You are free to eat all of the trees in the garden, but of the tree of knowledge, of good and evil, you are not to eat. For the day you eat that, you are doomed to death. Jehovah's God said, It is not right that man should be alone. I shall give him a helper. So from the soil, Jehovah's God fashioned all the wild animals and all birds of heaven. These he brought to the man to see what he would call them. Each one was to bear the name the man would give it. The man gave names to all the cattle, all the birds of heaven and all the wild animals. But no helper suitable for man was found for him. Then Jehovah's God made the man fall into a deep fuck-off coma. And whilst he was asleep, he took down his underwear and he vigorously butt-raped him. He fucked him and he took one of his ribs and closed the flesh up against forthwith. Jehovah's God fashioned the rib he had taken from the man into a woman and brought her to him. And the man said, You fucking took my bones. This one is the last of my bones and my flesh of my flesh. She is to be called woman because she was taken from man. Thieving bitch. This is why a man leaves his father and mother and becomes attached to his wife as they become one flesh. Now both of them were naked, the man and his wife, but they felt no shame before each other. They came from Norfolk. Genesis chapter 3 now, the snake was the most subtle of all wild animals that Jehovah's God had made. It asked the woman, Did God really say you was not to eat from anything of the tree in the garden? The woman answered the snake, We may eat the fruit of the trees in the garden. But of the fruit of the trees in the middle of the garden, God said, You are not to eat it nor touch it under the pain of death. Then the snake said to the woman, No, you will not die. God knows, in fact, the day you eat it, your eyes will be opened, and you will be like gods, knowing good from evil. The woman saw that the tree was good to eat, and pleasing to the eye, and that it was enticing for the wisdom that it could give. So, she took some fruit and ate it. She also dragged her husband into it, and he ate it. Then the eyes of both of them were opened, and they realised they were butt-fuck-off naked, so they 
sewed fig leaves together to make themselves loincloths. The man and his wife heard the sound of Jehovah's God walking in the garden in the cool of the day, and they hid from Jehovah's. Amongst the trees of the garden, Jehovah's called to the man. Where the fuck are you? he asked. I heard the sound of you in the garden, he replied. I was afraid that I was naked, so I hid. Who told you you were naked? he asked. Have you been eating from the tree I forbid you to eat? The man replied. It was the woman you put with me. She gave me some fruit from under the tree, and I ate it. Then Jehovah said to the woman, You're a fucking failure. The woman replied, I know. Then Jehovah said to the snake, Because you have done this, accursed be you of all animals, wild and tame. On your belly you will go, and on dust you will feed as long as you live. I shall put an entity between you and the woman, and between your offspring and hers. It will bruise your head, and you will strike its heel. To the woman he said, I shall give you intense pain in childbearing. You'll give birth to your children in pain. Your yeaning will be your husband, and he will dominate you. To the man he said, Because you listened to the words of your wife and ate from the tree, I forbid you to eat. Accursed be soil because of you. Painfully you will get your food for as long as you live.